Dawn, and welcome back to another tarot reading, Soulful Artist. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into this. For those that are new, welcome to my channel. For those that are old, hello and welcome back. I am happy to see you, new and old alike. Okay, so how this works is I pull three cards for your main energy, and then we get into clarification. And then we'll pull oracle cards and if you feel like it you can follow me on over to patreon for six bucks a month you get access to all of my extended videos or you can purchase a singular down below from gumroad okay singular extended I've opened that back up to people all right let's get into this okay appreciation I like this I like this so far Oh, good energy. All right. So, um, Capricorn, I feel there is someone around you or a situation that is currently happening in your life that you feel you may need to address, okay? And you're trying to take care of yourself, but I feel whatever the situation is, there could be something going on behind your back or somebody is... Hmm. The first thing I thought when I saw that card was literally something happening either behind your back or around you, okay? And you're trying to let go of it, but there's some anxiety involved, all right? There's something that it, it's happening in the energies. I'm getting the feeling of, I keep seeing, um, what do I keep seeing? I keep seeing a, like, it's like a, it's like a four-door sedan or something like that that I keep seeing. But you guys, you're you're definitely trying to release some anxiety and some aggression in your life that's been happening. Okay? So, mm, starting to get choked up here. Let's take a look. Who is this I'm connecting to for Capricorn? All right, tell me about appreciation, please. Tell me about appreciation. Tell me about appreciation, please. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, this is interesting, Capricorn. Hold on. The Chariot. Yes, this is a car. Okay, I don't normally say this in my readings, but um, somebody, somebody is either driving to you or driving around you. Okay, and with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, this could be someone you have known from the past. Someone that... What is going on here? Let's get one more. Don't normally pick up on these energies. This could be an ex from the past. This could be a family member. Okay, the Hierophant in reverse. All right. So there is two messages here, Capricorn. One, someone is... I keep seeing a car. It's like a black car. Someone is either driving to you or driving around you that you know. Okay, someone who drives this car. And there's someone that you had a past relationship or connection with okay and it could have been a long-term commitment um they could be a taurus or a cancer that you're dealing with here and um i'm really drawn by the images right now in this this person is they they see you single they see you single they may be uh wanting to talk to you or you have spoken to them on the street or something like that this is what i'm seeing in, in the imagery here i don't normally get drawn to the imagery first um some of you that i'm connecting to or whoever this is i'm connecting to you may see imagery you may be someone who you're out more you go out more you you may just be you may like photography or something like that i'm picking up on and this energy of the imagery uh, that's coming through in the reading is really strong okay so let's get some more here tell me about anxiety tell me about anxiety it's like a memory almost that I'm accessing. Um, we have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there was someone that you recently spoke to, okay? Or you, you talked to them. You guys shared some information. You guys were talking. You may have had some kind of exchange that this person, now they're in your energy. 
I'm not getting a bad vibe. It's just, it's like they're in, they're in your energy. And for some reason, communicating with them has either caused some anxiety or them some anxiety. Okay. But it was an equal exchange that you had with this person. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. You guys were communicating quite a bit. Uh, you guys may have exchanged phone numbers or exchanged information, but I feel like this is someone from your past that you knew that either abandoned you or you abandoned them or just your relationship or the connection, it got affected. And there was some, for a lot of you, this was some kind of commitment that you had. And um, they had something to present to you here with the Page of Pentacles. It was either, hey, do you want to meet up? Do you want to go somewhere? Do you want to do something? And... Um, you guys, you guys were talking, but for some reason, two, two stories here, for some reason, one, it, it caused them or you anxiety and you're trying to let go of that, or two, um, there's, the, you seeing them again has actually relieved you of some kind of burden or anxiety that you've had, okay? And you guys are now possibly in communication uh, via text or um, email. My head's hurting now. It's weird. I'm really connecting with someone like really strongly here in this reading. Okay, this is not going to be for everyone. The Empress in Reverse. So some of you guys definitely dealing with a Taurus here, or someone who has that that signature in their chart quite a bit. Um. So I feel that this person, this connection that you had, at one point you were quite invested, but this person, when they communicated with you, I feel like they were trying to tell you how how bad it's been without you in their life or how you have felt without them in your life. They have felt without you in their lives. Um, they could be connected to someone, okay, that acts this way. Someone who doesn't really care, is not very nurturing. They may have been discussing with you precisely how their life has been with this person this could be a new relationship that they're in if this was an ex of your of yours okay capricorn if this was an ex they were trying to communicate with you and tell you well you know this person they do this they do that and blah 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 okay and that could be where the anxiety is coming from as well so they were talking to you you guys were talking and um They've been expressing to you their woes. It, it, it could be also the way they feel about the past with you. And this is in the present energy. Okay, tell me about hostilities in the reverse. And if, the, the hostilities, I feel, is also related for some of you to the Empress here. Okay. Two of Swords. So you don't trust, I get the, I get this vibe, you don't trust this person, okay, Capricorn, or they don't, or you don't trust their, their, the pure person they were talking to you about, or there, there's, there's some, like, there is some real indecision here. There's something about the encounter um, that has caused you anxiety or made you feel like it's not, I don't want to say not safe, but it's, it's not a good idea to interact with this person. Let's get two more. Um, the wheel. Yeah. Because I feel you want to move forward or you don't, you either don't want this person in your life or you've, you've embraced a completely new cycle Capricorn in your life. And, um, this person appearing has kind of made you feel a bit shaky. Maybe in the past you guys had a lot of fights and you had to let that go. Or you had to let this whole situation go. And this person is bringing it back up into your life again. And um, you're just kind of like, what do I do? Do I continue talking and communicating? Or do I continue going on my cycle here? The wheel as well. You may have, <laughs> they may have driven away from you and it left you confused. Okay. Kind of like, what the fuck does that person want? Um, if it wasn't in a car, some of you guys saw this person in public somewhere. Okay. One more. The Emperor. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is why, Capricorn. Two messages. One, you you stepped away from this a long time ago and you, you let go of this whole situation or you just didn't want to have anything to do with it. Um, and with the Emperor here, you got control of your life. You, you kind of just moved into an energy of your own power, your own will. 
And what ended up happening is this person probably got left out in the dust and then they saw you or and it's been some time that has passed and they were kind of like, holy shit, what the fuck has Capricorn done with their life? They're making monies. They're doing really well. Um, and, and I feel you're actually just kind of like, no, I have control over my life, but you're a bit confused about the situation because you're moving into this emperor energy or some of you are already here. And it's kind of like, you're not going to allow past situations like with this higher firm. This could be someone non-traditional or who has commitment issues and you know this. And so when they come back around, you're like, well, no, you, you just kind of know you, you're communicating, you're getting all the details from them, but they're not, they, I don't think they're committed, right? Bottom of the deck, your challenge is death. Okay, that's what this is about here with the Empress, or sorry, the Emperor and the Empress. The Empress energy could also be them in reverse. You guys could have been a good match at one point. And what ended up happening is they, they don't take care of themselves. Okay, they're not taking care of themselves. And you are. So you're on a totally different vibe here with the death card. This person, all right, and this is what I'm talking about here with your challenge with death. They have either a transformation that they need to be going through in their life, if this is someone you're wanting to con continue to connect with, or this is about your transformation and where you're going to go. Are you going to embrace this cycle again with this person, or are you going to move forward into something completely brand new or stay on your trajectory here with the wheel? Because you may have already had a transformation, yet this person has not changed Okay, with the Empress energy in reverse. Um, they may still be also with the Hierophant in reverse. Just mm, kind of, uh, why do I get the vibe of a bit of a, um, like a know-it-all or... Also, the Hierophant in reverse sometimes for me is a person who, they, they're spiritual, but in all the wrong ways. Okay, not the right ways. If there is a right way. If you get my drift... Okay, not someone who really understands their spirituality and maybe uses it for gains that are not good. Okay, and that won't be for all of you, but that's your challenge here is death. Okay, rebirth. What does that mean to you? You know, does it mean letting this go or is this what this person needs before you can interact with them? Also Scorpio energy here. So let's get three cards. Three more cards for you. Three more cards for you. Past, present, future, please. We'll just close it on off after that. And then we'll get you two oracle cards. Okay, we have, yeah, eight of cups. You left this behind into the past where it belongs. I feel there's a lot of investment too. With this card, I also get um, a lot of investment, emotional memories, things you created with this person. And you just basically saying goodbye to all of those things moving towards the light. Sometimes we look back at these disappointments, but I feel you in the past, you definitely let this go and maybe this person has not yet. All right, present energy, please. The star, in the present energy, you have healed and taken care of yourself, Capricorn. Do you see what I'm saying? This is about you here. These are all very good major arcanas here. It's incredible, but you're, you know, you're focused on your wishes. You're focused on your dreams and reconnecting with the universe and just being all encompassing within yourself. So what's happening here is you're, well, it's retrograde. <laughs> oh God. Let's get one more. <laughs> one more. <laughs> Future energy. All right. Four swords. So this is talking about, um, needing to rest. Okay. Needing to restore and connect to the memories of the past and actually alchemize them in a way where you understand with the death card here that your challenge in life with this person is to look back and then say no it's time to either put this shit to rest or to let it worry you again so that is kind of your choice here right okay let's get one of these one monology card for capricorn please one monology card for Capricorn, please. A time for healing. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. This person either needs healing right now or you do. And you could be encountering them in your life specifically for this alone to actually understand yourself better. 
Uh, it could be them as well. They're actually learning how to heal themselves by encountering you in the wild, so to speak. But yeah, I really feel whoever I just connected with here, this very specific with the with the way you interacted with this person, that um, there is a big lesson here with the star card to continue embracing who you know you are, like who you want to be. Um, if this person and you had problems, it's up to you what you do from here. I'm getting a lot of readings this week that have to do with this, that have to do with releasing people in the past. Um, it's, I think it's retrograde. <laughs> really do. All right. One more. We have leap of faith. Yep. It's all about that. It's all about, um, with the death card and leap of faith. This is choices. You know, do you take a chance or do you not? And this could also be talking about a whole new journey here. Literally, this is the card of the fool. You're wanting to move into new territories, or at least you're being challenged here to learn the lesson. Um, do I want something new or old? Do I want to heal things with this person? Is there a way we can heal things? Uh, is, there, is there a lesson here that I need to integrate? Or is there something that I just haven't noticed yet about myself? Because you always have the choice of how you consciously handle these kinds of situations, Capricorn. It's entirely up to you. All right, if you guys liked this reading, feel free to join me for an extended down below. You'll see all that info in the description box of the video. Okay, can't wait to see you there, Capricorn. Bye.